Everybody loves Disney, right? I mean, why not? They have Star Wars, they have Marvel, they have Fox News, they have princesses, they have Mickey Mouse. But did you also know that they used to have a ton of old Disney Channel games that existed on the internet? Probably because I'm sure everybody at some point played one of these at least. Hopefully my editor put those in. And that precisely is what we're focused on today. So I will be playing every single old Disney game in hopes of hopefully giving you like a wave of nostalgia and maybe you'll check them out yourselves. Or maybe you just wanna watch my gameplay and you're just interested in me making a fool of myself for the next 35 minutes. Also, I'm very happy to report that there are no sponsors on this video other than myself, and I am plugging Bucha merch. Yes, my merch, go get it below, click on the link, I'll pin the comments, or just go in like that YouTube shopping feature, you could find it right there. The hats and the shirts, let me know what you get. Anyways, let's do this. All right, so the very first game we have is Pizza Party Pickup. We have Zach and Cody. Do you guys know that I met Dylan and Cole Sprouse multiple times at a bar because I went to NYU where they went to school and we had some run-ins and they were pretty nice people. I know now like one of them, I think Cody's like off the rails a little bit, but I think Dylan just got married, so. Anyways, let's play. All right, who can throw the best pizza party this summer? I don't think I need any help on how to play. I'm not sure I remember how to play this. I always like London. She was always like a vibe. Ah, I remember this game. Okay, here we go. I almost was using WASD. So what is the goal of this? The goal is to just effectively like get past, what is that, Zach's dad or mom? Oh, wow, that's probably uh, rude of me. How does Mr. Mosby not see me when I'm literally right here? I'm like right in front of his eye and he can't see me. Okay, going up, awesome. So now I can't see Zach and Cody. Why would they care? Why would Dylan and Cole Sprouse care if they saw London Tipton in the lobby? Did any of you guys actually watch this show or am I dating myself? Because this used to be like a massive show. Everybody in the world was watching this show at one point. I think it was like the most watched Disney Channel show actually. And I'll play until I die, which realistically is gonna be pretty soon. Actually, the more I think about it, the closest proxy to this game is probably Pac-Man. And they're the ghosts. Yeah, this is literally Pac-Man and there's fruits too. Got the room key and where do I have to go? Where do I go? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's far. Why oh, they're really making me work for this. Okay, give it a little hezzy and we out. Cool. You know what? I didn't remember this being this easy. Sometimes when you like play things years later, they end up revealing themselves to be super easy. And then you get mad at yourself because you're like frustrated why you're so bad at video games. Ah, he just killed me. Okay, that was definitely ironic timing. We will prevail. Where's the room key? There it is. Mosby. Oh no, ah, do I still have the room key? I do. I only have one life left, I believe. So if I die, then we move on to the next game and I wouldn't be super mad about it because I'm getting a little bit bored of London Tipton running around. Good, and we escaped. Uh, all right, so new goal is to just get, well, get out of here. Uh, so I'm just eyeing the room key. I don't really care about anything else. If I get it, great. If I don't get it, oh, but, but. All right, Mosby, I'm coming for you, old man. Okay, wow, I'm really doing, oh, boop, boop. I'm coming up, oof. Good. Hey, Macarena. Okay, so the goal is pizza, 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 room key. Uh, where do I have to go? Down here. E easy enough, easy enough. Am I really about to beat this game this easily? So I'm on the seventh floor. I think on one life I should be able to do this. Get down, get down. You're good, you're good. You're good, you're good. No. My pizza party was busted. That game's a lot of fun though. It definitely held up like the test of time. All right, so now we have the fan favorite 625 sandwich stacker. I actually made a TikTok slash YouTube short on this game a very long time ago. It was one of my first videos ever because this game was so nostalgic to me. All you need to do, it's very simple. You just need to make a sandwich. I actually don't know how, oh wait, is that clean meat? It looked uncooked. I feel like you shouldn't be eating like an, a raw steak. I know you could eat steak raw, but it just doesn't feel right for some reason. So one of the things I used to do that was a lot of fun, uh, I used to stack it as high as possible. So if you ignore the bread, they actually keep bringing ingredients. So I'm gonna try and get super high. So watch, ignore the bread. Bye, don't need you. And let's add some mayo, some meat. Very uh, protein rich sandwich. Lettuce, no time for that. Okay. Oh, dirty cheese. And we're gonna skip the bread again. So it starts to get pretty tough. When I say pretty tough, like really tough, because kind of like Tetris, it actually is exactly like Tetris. I'm realizing that every single Disney game is effectively like an old, oh, okay. Uh, it's just like an old uh, the, the game. I can't talk because I'm like really locked in right now. <gasps> Tomatoes. 
Onions. Okay. All right. I'll do one more, and the goal is to stack it to literally the third shelf. Like, I want to be as high as that, like, jar of mayo. And you see they're falling a bit quicker now, too. Makes it pretty difficult. Okay, let's ignore lettuce. Meat. Dirty cheese. No. Isn't all cheese dirty? Jalapenos. Skip this again. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Ick meter. Oh, no. One more life. Come on. I have to get a little bit higher. No, dirty cheese. Oh, wait. That's not dirty cheese. It's just pepper jack. Okay, that's news to me. I, I can no longer sense what's going on here. My dog is barking in the background, too. I'm distracted. Stop barking. Okay, I need to get a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Get the mayo. Pickles. Okay, stay safe here. Good. Okay. Stay safe here. Wait for the bread. Wait for the bread. Okay. We're a little too high now. Okay. No, nope, that's enough. We're good here. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, not the shoe. Not the shoe. Okay, just please. We need the bread. Bread should be coming. Bread should be coming, please. And we can't miss the bread when it comes. It's our one opportunity. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, so Zach and Cody Tipton's trouble. Zach and Cody are on a mission to help their mom's singing career. All right. That sounds very fun and promising and nice of them. I know how to play this game. This is the one that, like, when I think of Disney Channel games, I always think of this. So you have to just basically... I don't know what it is with them and, like, avoid it. Why do they have to avoid their mom? They're helping her with her singing career. That doesn't feel very fair to them. Oh, wow. I could just do, like, a hezzy there. Okay. Good. Busted. I didn't... Your back is turned. How do you even see me? All right. How many lives do I have? I have three lives. So is the goal I have to do it on every single poster? That seems like a really tall task. I hope they're paying me something for this. Surely they're paying me something. Why is my mom... I don't understand why my mom is trying to bust me when I'm literally trying to help her. All right. Looks like I lost my touch in this game, but I'll get it back. Don't you worry about that. That's the easy part. Same with London. Isn't she supposed to be on my side? Okay. Got it. Level two. Wow, the graphics are so good. I Did I break something? Did I just unlock a hidden level? Am I, is this an Easter egg? Are they trying to tell me something? All right, so I guess I broke the game, so on to the next one. Vroom, vroom, we have Lightning McQueen Desert Dash. Click here to race. Oh my God, I probably should have looked up how to do this because I've never played this game before. Wow, he is like an absolute monster. Why is he going so fast? You know, I recently just found out that Owen Wilson plays Lightning McQueen. Okay, wait, maybe I should focus until I start giving fun facts. Oh, this is tough. It reminds me of those arcade games. You know, the ones where you're like sitting down and you're racing and they're actually kind of fun, but you don't know like who the devs are and like how they even got into that space in the first place. This is like Mario Kart on steroids. Like I just genuinely cannot control myself. Or I'll tell you what, if I get first place in this race, oh, yeah, I can't talk. That's the issue. I'm not great at talking and playing games. I thought I was. I used to stream and I would play games and I would talk and it'd be a jolly good time. But nowadays I'm just stressing trying to stay. Oh, do I have to stay in my lane? Maybe that's like what I should be doing. All right. So I'm in first right now and we have what? We have one lap to go. One lap to go. All right. Here we go. The final stretch. Need for speed. Dom Toretto. Is that his name? From Fast and Furious. Now I'm in third. At least get second place. At least get second. Psych, we're going for first. Psych, 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 psych. Come on, come on. Come on, baby. Need for speed. Go faster, go faster. How am I in second? How am I in second? Get first, get first. Please, please get first. Please get first. Please get first. Please get first. This is it. This is it. I don't know how that happened and how I just pulled that out, but we'll take it. All right, this one's called Minnie's Dinner Party. How to play? Don't need instructions because I'm a gamer and gamers just do what is best for, for them. Don't need to hear from you guys. All right, so this is like Cooking Mama before Cooking Mama was a thing. Don't need the ingredients either. What am I making? Just tell me, this needs one ingredient. Okay, uh, blueberries, of course. That's right. Now I need to make it that color. Nothing a little tomato can't do for us. That's right, of course it is. Uh, and then, so this is just like primary colors. Red and green equals yellow. Now I need to make it pink, which or purple, which is back to the blue. And now I have to mix and make it yellow. So that's back to the green, red and green, uh, and then red. Red should do that for us. Why am I mixing it so much? Two ingredients. Uh, maybe I just go green and green. 
that enough? Oh no, that is, the, is that not the same color? This needs, to, okay, so now we need to make orange, which is, I think we have to go yellow to red. Yep, definitely know my colors. And then green, so we'll make it blue and then green. Buzzer? Okay, 13 points, 16, thank you, Mickey. Of course, Mickey showing the most love. What's that dog's name? Pluto? All right, Bueno Rufus. This is from Kim Possible. It's called fast food for a reason. Help Rufus fill the orders as they come in at Bueno Nacho. Oh, no. All right. Match the orders. Okay, this is going to be pretty hectic, I believe. You must get five out of ten orders correct. Jesus. Nachos? What? Is, okay. Cheese. Salsa. Good. Um. So uh, I put soda on it. Chocolate. Okay. Sorry. This is way too fast. All right. Cheese goes on the nachos. Chocolate goes on the ice cream. I think I'm killing it. Chocolate, good. So now I have soda coming. Uh, soda, I just do at the end. This is like almost too difficult. Okay, I did it. So I only got the minimum amount right. So I need to get 10 out of 15. All right, let's do this. So what, are they going to speed it up or something? It reminds me of that Club Penguin game. Okay. Salsa, soda, chocolate. The chocolate's tough. So I have to start reading it. So we have a soda coming up. So I can go here. We have nachos, which I'm able to get to in time. Good. More nachos. More nachos. Cinco de Mayo vibes. Another nacho. Okay. Burrito, and I am good. We might get the perfect score. And we have one more soda. Why does he have on the Ireland flag on his tie if he works at a Mexican restaurant? Sometimes things don't make a lot of sense, and I've learned it's best not to question it. Did I miss that? Ugh, oh, I missed it. Okay. We have a burrito. Yes, sir. I know this is going to get fast. Oh, okay. We have this. And I believe this will be the last one. No, I guess not. Okay. Level four, you must get five out of 10 orders correct. So, oh my gosh, there's two coming at once. Ice cream and soda. Okay, ice cream. Soda. Okay, now we're working. Soda, soda, nachos, nachos. So soda, soda, nachos, nachos. We have double ice cream, easy enough. Ice cream, ice cream, we have burrito and ice cream. So I need to do the ice cream and then the burrito. Now we have soda burrito. Oh, what goes first? Ah, I missed it. Okay. Gotta stay on top. Now we have burrito nachos, so I can go. Wow, I gotta be fast. Burrito nachos tough. Good. Ooh. Eight out of ten. Alright, not bad. Do not speed it up anymore, or this can get very difficult for me. Nachos and ice cream. Barely got that. I don't think that was supposed to work out. Soda, soda, okay, got that. Good, chocolate, chocolate, soda and nachos. So we'll do the nachos first. Uh, bu 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 okay, can we slow down a little bit? That'd be very nice if we did. Cause, oh, chocolate, okay, I put something. Oh, no, sorry, I'm getting, okay, wait, wait, wait we'll get this one. Nachos and burrito. Hey, this is like destroying my brain. Like you, all right, I, I need to get one more, I believe, to move on. Okay, I should be good now. That's 11. So I got 11 out of 15. Now it's time for 15 out of 20. So this is probably gonna be the final one. So enjoy. Soda, soda, easy enough. Look at Rufus back there, busting it out. Ice cream, okay, I completely flubbed. Let me really focus now. Soda. Okay, let's just put soda on the ice cream. Why not? You could do it. You could do it. I know I could do this. Like, I think I'm capable, you know? Like, I have it in me to do it. As I keep missing. I'm missing everything. It's so sad to, to witness. It's just too fast. It's too fast. I'm not built for this. I'm just not built for this. I can't do this. I'm going to get maybe like 11 right if I'm lucky. A okay, double burrito. 
11 is a failure, but that definitely pressed my brain as much as it possibly could have. Now we have Shopping Avenger, which sounds like it might be the worst game ever, but we're going to play it nonetheless. And I think we're going to go to the, uh, let's go to the jungle. Don't care about what I need to do because I'm on a mission. What, what am I even doing? Is she robbing these stores? I thought she was supposed to be a good guy. What is, like, I forget who Kim Possible is. Like, why is she a spy? Like, what is the whole logic behind her being a spy? Can I wear these or something? No, okay. You need to stop running. Like, what you need to do is after you get onto, like, this top area. Okay, get on. Uh, oh, that's that good looking girl. All right, I'm not listening to a cutscene in like an old Disney Channel flash game, so I'm gonna skip this. All right, this is called Paradise Rescue. This is a very long game of which I'll probably be playing one level or so. Oh, look at this. Honestly, like pretty good feel. Do like some barrel rolls. Uh, this reminds me of, okay, I died. It's not good. How many lives do I have? Four lives, that's pretty friendly. Do I have to kill them or can I just avoid them? Cause I feel like, Wow, okay. If that, what is that, a power-up? Makes me invincible, I hope. I think it did. Or it gave me like a single-use shield. There's a game I'm thinking of, I don't know what it's called, but it's very similar to this. Oh, look at that. So I could do like a, oh, I see, that's fun. So I could just do one laser. Oh, I could also go back and forth. Maybe I'll just stick to one direction. No pun intended. You're insecure. Don't know what for. All right, I have two more lives. What is this formation? Okay, very quickly, I have one more life. So let's get that. Level cleared. There we go, with one life to spare. We're moving on. It's very like Mario-esque, like each level, each world, and then you have your bosses. What was the first game that like invented that type of format? Because whatever it is, I mean, great job. And I'm done with Paradise Rescue, I suppose. Here's a game that you guys will know because it has to do with Phineas and Ferb, which apparently everybody in the world watched besides me. I watched a little bit of it, but like not that much. Cowabunga Candice. Okay. Uh, the Backyard Beach with Dove. Uh, okay, you can't speak right, Phineas. Play. Jump and Space Bar. Okay. Okay, so that's... Is that her boyfriend? Who is that exactly? Oh, do I collect those? Speed round. Okay, so I want to collect these. That, so these are good things. I don't want to hit the gnomes. I'm assuming those are bad. Nice, nice, nice. I could, oh, I could jump them too. I'll get purple. Nice. Oh, look at you. Wow. I mean, incredibly impressive. Like Sean White level skills here. Do I go here? Yeah. Hit, press the space bar. What does this do? It did nothing. My confidence is way too high. Double points. How do I do more handstands? Oh, I see, I see, I see. So space bar does one of my special tricks. I want to jump these. I feel like it's better to jump them than to avoid them. Bike? Oh, I feel like I shouldn't, yeah. Let's definitely not get the bike. That doesn't seem like a good move by us. Jump the box. Special trick. Double points log. All right, I get it. All right, fun game. Cool. Ooh, this does not seem like the best timing to be playing this submarine based game however i will be playing let's see what it's really oh okay uh maneuver the sub back and forth yeah this is save the fish okay so how do i save the fish just maneuver the sub back and forth oh so perry there's perry on the bottom so perry has to get all this i don't understand what perry wants from me i really don't understand what's happening all i know is i hope the submarine doesn't crash because that would be pretty ominous do you, like do you why and why is Candace above me just floating like there's not a giant submarine less than one meter away from her? Oh, she's sinking. Okay, she's back. You see that instinct? Like, I, I tried to, like, save her. That's, you can't teach that. That's innate. That's something, make sure you guys have that. Now, everybody's favorite, Stitch Tiki Bowl. Position Stitch on the lane by hitting the space bar. So we're gonna go there, select the angle. I don't know what that means. And then power, and we're gonna go fast. And we are bowling. And I literally got a strike. I didn't, I was just BSing through that entire thing, but now we definitely have something going for us. Full power, you'll go straight through. Okay, time for a spare. So we'll line up there. We'll aim for there and we'll go kind of slow. Woo! Okay, 
Round three. Yeah, so when in doubt, you just want to go to the middle. That'll do you a lot of favors. I'm locked in right now. I am locked in. All my training against Matt has like really like prepared me for this moment. If I go fast, I can go straight through them. Oh, that's not very good. That's not much better. All right, kind of flubbed right there, but that's fine. The goal is to bowl a 10,000. They say that's the equivalent of bowling a 200 in real bowling. Who says that? I say that. Good. I'm going to keep it right there. Oh, I did way too slow. I did way too slow. You know what they say, baby. Slow and steady wins the race. A little bit of water here, so we'll go around. Go a little fast, no problem. Okay, and then we'll square it away by... Let's just go this speed so we can turn a little bit. Good, good, good. And we missed the bonus pin. That's fine. Definitely messed this up. That was the equivalent of a gutter ball. They were just being very nice to me. Full speed ahead. Oh, no. What was it? Ugh. I guess I should have expected that. All right. I hope I don't turn too much. Yes. First strike in like a long time. Round nine. So two more frames left with this. And we're going for the kill. Another one. Okay, so we want a little bit over here. And we're going to go fast. All right, final frame. Right in the middle. Really good setup. Go fast, full steam ahead. I got a split. What do I even do here? If I hit this, it's over. Oh, imagine that. That would have been absurd. All right, so we finished with 11,000 points, which I think is pretty good. I mean, I don't know what the equivalent is, but I'm going to call that like 220, which I'll take. Basically, what I've realized is that Phineas and Ferb and the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody monopolize every single game. So let's do one player. This game is called, by the way, The Fast and the Phineas. It's probably going to be like another Mario Kart dupe. It looks like the Family Guy car. Please choose the engine. Okay, that's a good engine for me. Choose the body kit. Looks good to me. Choose the decals. I don't know anything about cars, so... Oh, this looks fun. All right, so... Accelerate, brake, steer, and a turbo boost. So I'm the red car. Let's do this. I think this is a Mario Kart minigame. Mario Party minigame, excuse me. So I'm playing against Ferb. So are they both super geniuses, or is just Ferb? Because Ferb is British, right? So that means he's automatically a super genius. Uh, okay, lap two of three. Come on, baby, you got this, Ferb, or Phineas, whoever I am. I think I'm Phineas. I'm the red guy. Who's the red guy? Okay, Phineas. Come on, Phineas. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, don't take that wide of a turn. You got this, you got this, you got this. Turbo booth. Woo! I think that's a course record, 42 seconds only. I love it. Now we're playing Field Day Fun. It's from the Jonas Brothers show. Fun fact, Nick Jonas follows me on TikTok. Maybe he likes the content, maybe he misclicked, but he's been following me for about six months. So Nick Jonas, if you see this, let's make a video together. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Downhill turf surfing. So I'm gonna ch choose Nick Jonas. It looks like a baby there, wow. All right, mouse ready? Yes, sir. I wonder if he knows this game exists, you know? Or is he just kind of like, they're just leveraging his IP? Because there's no way Nick Jonas is aware of this game. Like, do you think he's ever sat down and played this? Maybe when he was young, it was probably cool to like show off to people. And why is he surfing on grass? Like a lot of this just doesn't make sense. Maybe it's just me being too, too harsh on the fundamentals, but I just, I genuinely believe that this doesn't make any sense. Like how, how is the surfboard even moving? That's my first question. This surfboard has no reason to be moving on grass. Like, there's nothing pushing it. There's no engine on this. It just defies, like, all laws of motion. Bam. All right. They called me an amateur, despite the fact that I didn't crash once and I just basically surfed on grass. I think that would qualify me as some sort of expert. We're now playing Corey's Money Maze, which, from the first glance, this is just an exact ripoff of the Zack and Cody uh, back end. It's almost like this is Threads, and Twitter is the Zack and Cody game. How do I even go up? Okay. 
I'm gonna be honest, I can't play this game. This game is like, I don't understand how I'm supposed to go down. It, I wish you guys could see like a, a cam of my fingers moving because like, how do I go up? You ready here? There's no way to go down. There's no way to go down. I'm telling you, there's no way to go down. I'm pressing everything. I'm right above the stairs, right? Go down, bam, nothing to do. So I can't even go down. Are they telling me I can only go? Okay, I guess I could go down. All right, maybe, maybe I'm just dumb. In which case, I can't play this game. We are back at it with another racing game. This time it's Lizzie McGuire Turbo Racer on Challenge Mode. Lizzie's Bedroom. I remember playing this game a long time ago. You know, games back then were actually tougher than games now because what is this reaction time that they expect of me? I'm supposed to avoid all of this negative stuff within 0.5 seconds. What am I, like a major league batter against 90 mile per hour fastballs? Warp zone. I guess I could slow down, but again, I just I have to keep moving forward. Shout out to Aaron Yeager. Just all I know, I, the only thing I know how to do is press forward. No such thing as just taking my time. You got a negative 250, you know, that's fine because I'm probably going to get a, a plus thousand. See, what did I say? Second lap. This is like, I, I, I wish you guys understood how difficult this is. Go ahead and type into your browser Turbo Racer and try this game. And try to just like avoid anything negative while you're pressing forward. The amount of time you have to react is like incredibly low. Not that I've played a ton of video games, but this genuinely is one of the hardest video games I've ever played. Everyone's like, oh, our esports sports. If the esports are this game, then yeah, absolutely. All right. I mean, I'm surprised I just have like a somewhat positive score. Oh, 22,000. Okay, killed it. All right, so this game from the motion picture Ratatouille, it's called Where's Remy? And what, do I literally just have to find Remy? Is that how this works? There's his ear, wow, this is really tough. You see how small that ear was? Oh, there it is, there's his ear again. Um, There's his tail coming out of his Gustavo. Anybody can cook. There we go. Oh, he's really hiding on this. No, there's his tail. I want to chop that up. Is that it? Oh, it was about to click on that, but his real tail is right there. Okay, I feel like I've found Remy enough. I'm satisfied with this game. I feel like I put my all into it. Um, So yeah. Another Ratatouille game called Marionette Madness. Level one, Colette's Crepes. Collect these six ingredients. They didn't tell me what the six ingredients are, so I have to just know how to make crepes. Crepes, so I need, let's see, butter, sugar, Eggs. Why does he look like a puppet? He's kind of jacked too, look at him. Uh, milk, can't get distracted here. Uh, more sugar, and then that. And one more ingredient. Time's up and you barely got cooking. I don't know. I guess anybody can't cook. All right, for all you Frozen fans, we have Olaf's freeze fall. Oh my gosh, do not tell me they took this from Doodle Jump. This is exactly what Doodle Jump is. Oh, get your head, get your head. There we go. So Disney basically pulls a meta and just rips off existing IP. Okay, interesting. Can I go on him? Is he my friend or foe? Oh, he's a friend. Cool. What's his name again? I don't know. I only saw Frozen 1 and I didn't mind. It was actually pretty good because I went in. I was a bit of a hater because I was late to the Frozen train. I saw it in 2022. And I was like, what do, you, like, what do you mean this is the best Disney movie ever? Like, let's be real here. Like, there's no shot. And I ended up really liking it. It's still not my favorite. I still think the best Disney movie by far is Tangled. Best Disney princess movie. Yeah, that movie gets me. This is also, like, so easy because there's, like, nothing to kill me. It's just me. Oh, what are these? Do I have to collect this? Oh, so I, okay. I see what I have to do. I have to basically get all of his, um, oh, I missed his arms. So I need to get a carrot and his arms. There's his arms, and then I think he has a carrot on his nose, right? Okay, hold on, I need some momentum here. Good. Good. There's the carrot. Ah. And then once I get the carrot, I should be smooth sailing, huh? <gasps> I spoke too soon. All right, we're going to pivot to a game called Summer Soakers. So Phineas and Ferb fans, we're gonna be Buford at the bounce house and we're gonna play this game that I don't know how to do. So let's let's splash, baby. Oh yeah. It's like Pokemon, it's RPG. Or turn-based, sorry. Okay, good move, I'm gonna splash again. I don't see why we wouldn't just straight up 
hit her like that. Okay, and then once again, I am just going to destroy you. Why was that like the easiest thing ever? Ah, level two, we have Baljeet. I think that's his name. Hopefully that's not racist if I got that wrong. Go. This is so cake. There's a game um, called Territory War, I believe. It's on Addicting Games. I used to play it all the time. This reminds me very much of it. Except I only have one weapon, and it's the water balloons. That's going to hit. Nope, it's going to... Oh, no. Oh, imagine that backfired. Okay. Well, Baljeet, your moment is over. Cool. All right, kind of fun. All right, now we're playing Chicken Little Batting Practice. There's no way that this is an actual game they released. You're telling me that this is a game released by Disney that they were proud of? I gotta get in my wheelhouse here. Loan inside, I wanna like take one for 200 points is my goal. I think I got that already, I was just kinda blinded by it. All right, come on chicken little, 120? All right, so I want 200, 200. Foul ball, are you serious? All right, so I have 11 seconds to hit something 200 feet, which I still haven't accomplished, five seconds. And I know that that's not going anywhere. So, oh, 176. Round it up. All right, here's a fun one that everybody remembered. Pizza delivery from Meet the Robinson. This guy is absolutely yoked, but what do I got to do here? All right, so I don't know what to do. Do you, I don't get it. Do you want a pizza? Is this, is the purpose of me interacting with you so I can give you a pizza? Time for a refill, okay. Where do I get the refill? Why is this, di is this dinosaur on my team? I'm not understanding. I need to go back to the, I'm over. I can't play this. All right, and then the final game of the day is Monsters, Inc. Booze, Hide, and Scream. I tried to play a bunch of other games, but they were blocking me because Flash wouldn't allow it for some reason. And so, uh, what, what am I doing here? Anyways, this is gonna have to be the last game, I'd say. Score, okay, so I just have to basically like scare them all. I'm getting points. All I'm doing is just clicking as they open. Good, good, good. 22 monsters. Keep up the good work. All right. All right, that's a fun game. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more content, click here or click here. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Peace.